Greetings and welcome, I am Sugikan as always and thanks for joining me today on my latest video which is about the Season 6 Masteries and I will be explaining how the new system works, so it's a lot different from the previous years I will be also going throughout every mastery in all of the three trees So first of all, the names have been changed since the past ones, we have Resolve, Cunning and Ferocity um, Resolve is kind of like the tank tree, the Cunning and Ferocity are I would say both kind of offensive they have few utility ones in cunning but the utility tree seems to turn to more of like an offensive type of thing and there will be of course ramifications for this but I won't be going through that too much in this video so first of all let's go through how this is new system works so on the first resolve masteries we have two masteries recovery and gun yielding these are old masteries they have their places changed to be honest though. So recovery increases health region per 5 and the unyielding gives you bonus armor and magic resistance. Here however is the one of the biggest changes. So you are not able to put 10 points here so you can't put 5 points to recovery but you can't put another 5 points to unyielding. So each tier you have only 5 points to spend. So either you put 2 points to recovery and have 3 points on the unyielding which is kind of interesting thing so no longer you can put like 30 points into one tree that is impossible 18 is the max points you can put into one tree now so because of this we will be very likely to see more master cheats like 18 12 0 uh, or vice versa so that is pretty much the trend but for me what I look through I would rather put 5 points rather than 3 and 2 or 1 and 4. That is just my take of course. And the next one is it lets you choose another one but this is only one point. Okay, These are the keystone masteries and this is the new system which heavily focuses on the keystones and these are the most important masteries in here. So the one for the more utility based thing is the explorer increases, two, increases 12 movement speed while in brush and river. This is really good for roaming and jungles. The other one is you take two less, two damage less from champions and monster basic attacks. Also good for jungling. Um, I would prefer Explorer for 90% of the cases though, because two damage is not that much. The 12 movement speed can be futile, uh, fatal in like running away in the river against enemy champions, etc. And then again, we go to the next part, and we have a runic armor which increases eight percent bonus to all shields and healing to lose lifesteal re regeneration this is a very interesting mastery um, I think it's pretty good the other one is increasing your max health better ground stars better scars 4% more health then we have perseverance and here we choose another one of them so each of the trees have three keystone mastery choosings and um, this is really powerful inside increases well, decreases 15% cooldown of all summoner spells, really powerful. Um, Perseverance increases health region when you're below 20% health. Um, I think the inside is much better. Then again, we have Swiftness, this is all ten tenacity and slow resist. And Legendary Guardian increases armor based on how many enemy champions are nearby, up to 10 armor from 5 champions. And then we have the ultimate keystone masteries the first one being pressed up undying. dying every four seconds you life steal enemies health based on your max health by three percent um it has four second cooldown which is in combat however and strength of the ages increases your max health so it's a stacking ability and siege minions will heal you 100 percent 100 health every time you kill them after you reach 200 stacks really good for tanks uh, bond of stone 4% damage reduction while nearby ally the bonus is double to 8% and 8% of the damage will be that your ally takes you will be taking so this will be a very interesting talent that's kind of double edged sword in certain ways you don't want to use this and this is a very good support mastery I would say um, then we no next jump into the cunning that's the Wanderer, which increases 3% movement speed when you're out of combat. Um, other one is Savagery, which is pretty much a jungle mastery more. Basic attacks and single target spells increase 5 damage done, damage dealt to minions and monsters. 
um, secret stash increases the potions uh, duration by 10% and flasks too and well the um, the potions will turn to biscuits remember mana potion don't mana potions don't exist in season 6 anymore and then we have runic affinity this is an old utility mastery which increases to 15% of the buffs pretty much and here's the interesting part so merciless which used to be an offensive master is now put into cunning so we have flood of offensive masters in forest city and in cunning so it will be hard to choose which one you want to go for ad carry and this pretty much increases damage dealt to champions below 40 percent health meditation increases your missing mana um dangerous game one of the best masters in the game still champion kills and assists will record 5% missing mana and health. Bandit, it is the old support mastery which you know gives you gold when nearby enemies minions are killed and once you hit enemy champions you will get gold. Precision increases um, armor and magic penetration per level and it gets you flat tree and intelligence is pretty much like increases your max CDR so you get 5% CDR and your maximum is increased to 45% CDR. Is really good for certain champions, will give you certain benefits. There's a lot of tier crafting into this. In the cunning, we have Storm Rager Surge, dealing 30% champion health, max health within 2 seconds, grants you 35% movement speed for 3 seconds, 10 second cooldown. This is pretty much like a Jinx passive, pretty much. Very powerful. Especially for champions like Leblanc or even Zed, who will burst a lot. With certain abilities. Thunderlord's press degree Thunderlord's degree. Every third attack or spell will shock the area around them, dealing 10 damage per level of plus your AP and your AD as magic magic damage as 30 second cooldown. Kinda interesting things, kinda like static shield, I guess. And Wind Speaker's Blessing, which is really overpowered, I think. This will do a lot of change to the support pool because supports without heals and shields will be probably much weaker going into like into season 6 in my opinion because of this mastery so this one increases the heals and shields by 10% additionally the shields and heals increase your target's resistances by 15% for 3 seconds it's pretty OP it's really good for like champions like Janna, etc and this is like really really good mastery and will be a game breaker um, I don't know if Morgana's Black Shield will count as a shield, but you could see like as a Morgana nerf or champions who don't have shields like Blitzcrank kind of be, become a bit more useless. And I guess Tom Kench nerf indirectly, but he's pretty outpowered. So, and last of not last but not least, we have First City Tree. Fury gives attack speed. Um, Sorcery gives two percent ability and spell damage. I don't know what does this really mean. Well, okay, it means abilities that deal physical damage too, so it's a caster type of thing. Uh, feast, you get 20 health when you last hit. Really good for jungling and in farming too on the lane. Double is sword, is all talent, increases the damage done to you and to the enemy. Um, for range is half, of course. No, it's actually 2%. And then we have Vampirism, increases spell, vamp, and lifesteal. And natural talent increases AD and AP at level 18, so you get like AD and AP. Kind of gets good for like hyper champions like Akali. Um, the next keystone mastery is really interesting. So Bounty Hunter, you deal 1% increased damage for each unique enemy champion you kill. So I would assume it's up to 5%. Okay, here. So you get five if you kill all the champions, your damage done will be increasing five percent. This is really huge. This is a really overpowered mastery in my opinion because in longer duration games you are most likely to kill all the enemy champions at some point. You get a pentakill, you get five percent damage increase, which is really huge for AD carries, for instance. Um, the other one is called Oppressor. It deals um, two point five increased damage to targets impaired with movement, slow, stun, and certain taunt. This is kind of one of the bad things about this new Master Tree. I think the Bounty Hunter is much, much better than the Oppressor because you're very likely to get some kills in the game. Unless your support, the Oppressor is like always a worse choice. 
The next one we have magic and armor penetration goes 7%. And the last, Ferocity Keystone Mastery is Wonder Warlord's Bloodlust. This is probably the most powerful mastery inside this game. So the critical strikes heal 15% of the damage dealt and grants you 20% attack speed for 4 seconds. 2 second cooldown. Only 2 second cooldown. So this is huge. This is huge for champions. Like This is a good for Ash. Ash gets like, a lot of healing and you know free crits. I don't know if they actually like rework the passive or something. But this is really powerful mastery. Um, crit rooms and stuff like that will enable you to not use at all on your lifesteal points and life will lifesteal early you can just go quit at start and then it's amazing fervor of the battle your basic attacks and spells can you stack of fervor for five seconds max 10 stacks each stack will eat at level 18 eight bonus ap no sorry eight bonus ad for each stack so it's 80 stacks you do 10 auto attacks you get 80 plus AD and this is pretty insane mastery too and the third one is that fire touch your damage abilities cause enemy champions to take 6 plus 50% of your bonus AD or 20% of your ability bar in magic damage over 3 seconds this is kind of like a type of an ignite some like um, a dot spell damage over time and uh, this is really good for AP casters but overall my general thoughts is that AD cards will be very strong in this patch and hopefully you like this breakdown I tried to make it fast as possible but it still ended up being 12 minutes because there's a lot of stuff to explain if you have further questions about the thing I would be very happy to answer in the comments below if you want to support me buy YouTube Red watch my videos like the video subscribe comment share and see you guys later on the next video cheers